Back off at YouTube and let us make some delicious Cajun turkey wings. tray I have about one kilogram of turkey wings and all I did was just ask them to cut it into two so as you know the turkey wings has the drumstick part and then the flat piece so this is what I did I am going to be seasoning this up and for seasonings I'm going to be using a little bit of oil black pepper sea salt thyme Cajun seasoning and some of my gorgeous homemade green seasoning Look at how amazing it looks. Now the recipe for the green seasoning is down below in the description box. The reason this one is not looking as green is because I added in some red bell peppers. So if you wanna do that to yours, you can do it, okay? But this is my gorgeous green seasoning. I'm gonna start by adding just a little bit of olive oil onto my turkey with my black pepper, of course. I'm gonna put a generous amount of black pepper. Going in with my sea salt, of course. And guys, I forgot to mention, but I did put a few slits into my turkey wings, as you can see here, which will really help for the seasonings to enter into my wings. Going in with some thyme, of course. And some Cajun seasoning, the star of the show. Look at that. Just want to put a generous amount, and I will be rubbing it in later on, so don't worry. Okay guys, look at how amazing. So last but not least, I'm going in with my gorgeous green seasoning. So guys, this is where I mix it up. Oh my goodness, look at that. And you just wanna make sure to flip it over so that it's nicely seasoned on both sides. Look at that guys, look at this. Look at how gorgeous this looks. And that green seasoning is just making this look so, so beautiful. Like, oh my goodness. Guys, look at that. Look at how gorgeous this is. So guys, now I'm just covering it up with some clear up because I will be allowing this to marinate in my fridge for at least two hours, okay? If you have lots of time, you can feel free to leave it for overnight. It's entirely up to you, but look at how amazing. Oh my goodness. So into my fridge for about two hours or longer if you have before we come back and bake this. Oh my goodness, so good. So it's now time to bake this and I'm just covering it up with a little bit of foil. Very important to cover it up. Okay, make sure it's nicely sealed. I have preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. And I will be baking this for two hours and I will turn it halfway, okay? So into the oven we go for two hours and after one hour I will come back and turn it so I can show you, okay? So guys, my wings have been in the oven for the past one hour. Whew, look at that. Guys, look at how amazing it looks. So what I'm doing is just flipping it over Guys, this is going to be so, so delicious. Oh my goodness. And look at all the juices that is created. And I didn't even add any liquid or anything in there. So now you just want to baste it with those juices. Because the whole purpose of baking it with the foil was so that it can soften up the wings a bit. 
because you want this to be falling off the bone okay this looks absolutely gorgeous and you can find this turkey baster on amazon or the pound shop guys you can find this in lots of places okay so now that it's nicely basted i am just gonna go ahead and push it back into the oven for a further one hour and this time i'm gonna leave it uncovered because i wanted to get some beautiful color okay so back into the oven we go for one hour uncovered so guys here you have it all done this is my cajun turkey wings nicely done the total cook time for this was about two hours and i did baste it every now and again so that it remains nice and juicy so yes it's time to serve i hope you enjoy this recipe if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel of course it's a pleasure having you here and i'll see you again in my next one thank you so much for watching bye bye